Old Spanish Day starts next week, and many small businesses are already changing up their displays. News Channel reporter John Palmentary joins us live. And John, owners are hoping for a fiesta spike in business. Some business owners that we have seen already over the weekend and certainly today have begun putting out displays to get ready for old Spanish days, especially if they have historical or unique items to put out. They are hoping for a lot of enthusiasm for their customers who would like these items either for their in-person use or in-home gatherings. The colorful look of old Spanish days coming up next month should also be a bright boost for many small business owners who have what it takes to create the fiesta spirit. Fiesta is so fun because it's quintessential Santa Barbara. It's not done anywhere else. And it's just the whole town is a party. A new display is up at the Vintage Fox on Chapala Street. Yeah, I have lots of um, old fiesta posters and pins and um, margarita glasses and whatever you need to make a party be fun, I have it. Yeah. It didn't take long to find items that will turn a fiesta gathering into a special setting. The gypsy wagon will go straight away. They'll put shot glasses and things and that, that'll go really... And there's already a couple in there, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I have a great collection of um, and I have way more than this actually too, of um, old fiesta uh, pins. Sometimes it's a small collectible or it's a memory piece from decades ago that'll add to your decor like nothing else. For some stores that are a little off the beaten path like these here on Chapala Street near Coda, they're doing a little bit more with their decorations to catch the eyes of all the passers-by. Aren't they amazing? We just kind of put them out. A little heel, comfortable, but you know you can dance all night. In the back of the vintage Fox is the store known as The Story. There's vintage clothing that, for now, has been specially chosen for this unique Santa Barbara tradition. Yeah. Taking old pieces and judging them up and repurposing them. And I hope that we get some people in here because there's some like really fun stuff. Going through the racks, we found clothing for women and men full of fiesta colors. The historic look, some cleverly redesigned and some that were rare finds. Vintage 70s shirt, and they are really hard to come by. And this one's in beautiful shape, and it's white. There's even some Western wear for that ranchero look. And these two small businesses will be having their own Fiesta events. We know that in recent years, antique stores and some of the vintage stores uh, have been very popular with customers who are trying to buy repurposed items. And this event, Old Spanish Days, is not just centered in the, the heart of the promenade, for example, on State Street. This is great for small businesses elsewhere, including on the Milpa Street corridor or here on Chapala Street and even in Old Town Goleta. There's a number of stores that specialize in ranchero and western wear that will be perfect for Old Spanish Days. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, she's got some wonderful finds and things out there for sale. Thanks so much for that, John. Still ahead on your News Channel Live at 